Well, hello there. You guys asked for the tutorial, so here it is. You're going to want to create a nine block tall pillar in the center, two sides sticking off of it like a cross facing up, made out of stripped dark oak. Then using spruce, you're going to zigzag down from it, and your last pillar should be three blocks tall. And it should look like this. Pause if you want to look at it. Yep. Then you're going to come through the back here, and you're going to go eight blocks back, one down from the very top one, and then you're going to create another nine block tall pillar cross shape with the stripped dark oak facing up, and then you're just going to zigzag down again, exact same as you did on the front. And that's what she should look like. You should have about five blocks of space from the center pillar to one of the pillars on the left and the right. Five blocks in between there. So you're one going to get your spruce fence and you're going to go down starting at the little point on the cross shape. And you're just going to want to go all the way across down the zigzag pattern on the very bottom block of each little downwards zigzag just like this and then you want to gonna go to the other side and do the exact same thing when you're done that's what it should look like and then you just copy it over to the other side but first I'm gonna show you how to do the roof you just place hay bales in a straight line just like this going down on top of each of the fences just like this and then once you get your fences placed on the other side you do the exact same thing and that's how you do the roof well that's what it should look like on the uh, one side there do a quick fly around here just to show you what the uh, build should look like so far I will periodically do that just so you know what it should look like and that's what the fences underneath should look like when you are done building the roof part for now so now I'm going to show you how to build the little uh, I guess you could call it side roof thing you build up you place a block on the side of the roof just one you build up again on the other side and then you put fences in that little middle gap there spruce fences then you're gonna place a block go over with your stripped dark oak all the way across and that's what it should look like then you just go to the other side and do the exact same thing yep just like that looks exactly the same as it does on the other side now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna get some uh, polished deep slate stairs place a row on the top and a row on the bottom and then uh, shroom lights in the middle if it's an earlier game build just use like a pumpkins or any other block form of light source work just fine and then do the exact same thing place a bottom row face up place a top row place your light source like mentioned I'm using shroom lights and then cover it the front with trap doors and just lick them up along there and that's what it looks like on the uh, front and the back I didn't like so we will cover that up later so now going back with the uh, strip dark oak start at the uh, bottom of the side you want to be your uh, front and you zigzag up all the way to the top just like this start down there up two over one up one over one up one over one up one until you reach to the block right below the top and then you add fences in every single gap on the bottom including the very last one there that one right there you place one and that's what the uh, front of your barn should look like so now using your fences you're gonna go out three blocks up three blocks and you're gonna place an oak trapdoor on the side one on top of the fence and if you're clever enough you can actually place one right just below so it makes that sort of up down up pattern 
going back and you go over up three again one on the wall one on the fence and then you just go right there and then you just fill in the center following in a straight line sort of like that it is somewhat tricky and you might end up like I did here several times end up placing a trapdoor on top of another trapdoor while crouched it's annoying but you do eventually get there So now I'm going to show you how to build the back. You go one away from the uh, side of the wall and you zigzag up. And you keep going leaving these little one gap pockets there and you do the uh, exact same thing on the other side. One away and then up two, zigzag over and then stop leaving these little one gap pockets which we are going to fill with a uh, spruce fence except for the very one on the very bottom there where I just placed one a second ago right there the one below does not get a spruce fence fill it in and that's what it looks like and then you take the um, exact same strip dark oak go forward on the bottom of the front of those right there then you're going to place fences on top except for on this very top there I messed that up originally I do go back and fix it here in a second but yeah that top fence no it's not supposed to be there then you're gonna take your trap doors spruce trap doors place them along the bottom here flip them up and just place more trap doors on top of each other and don't do that I hate when that happens but place one there place another and you keep going up I'm not sure if you can on Java, but on Bedrock Edition you can place them on top of each other like this. Makes things a bit easier sometimes. And then you just uh, flick it up, and that's what your back should look like. And for the inside here, we're kind of going to do the same thing. We're going to place trap doors in front of the open spots here where we placed those fence, and just cover them up a bit on both sides of course doesn't really matter which way the trap door flicks down I think it looks the same but if you want make them flick in the same direction then you're wanna gonna get here in a second we're gonna put a uh, spruce fence right up here at the front don't know why I did it but I put it there then you get some barrels and place it along the front down in here in front of that ugly hole in the back of the wall and then you uh, I struggle to get this but then you place them right there facing forward on the front and then you place them next to each other and then you're gonna cover the top of them with uh, rails which I'll show you how to do here in a second after I figure out what I'm doing uh. So yeah, you place them on the side like that, just like that, yep, and then you go get some rails, and then you place the rails on top of every single barrel. and that's how you do the storage area to uh, make the floor you clear out the uh, dirt below down to one block there and then you get spruce planks dark oak planks strip dark oak log and spruce trap doors and you sort of uh, randomly spam them about in different patterns and that's how you make the floor you just keep placing them on down some logs fill it in trapdoors and it actually looks quite nice here in the end so 
So yeah, that's how you do the floor. Show you what it looks like down in here so far. This is what you should have. Doesn't look half bad now, does it? And then I'm going to show you how to cover up the ugly little lights outside. You take some logs and hay bales, spam them in front there, making these nice little stacks of wood. Then you make some stacks of hay over here. And then on the back side, we're going to make a little furnace and sort of utility area after I get done there. That's what it should look like on one side. You don't have to do it exactly like that. You can just spam them in other places. Then you're only going to get a furnace and a blast furnace, a campfire, spruce trap doors, flick it up around the campfire. I guess it looks like a little cooker of some sort. Cover up these three uh, light sources here with trap doors on top of them. Flick it up. And then right in front of here you can put some hay or some wood. I sort of did a hay-wood combo, you could sort of say. Yep, that's... Yeah, I think I like that. Yep, we're going to keep it just like that. And that is what the build should look like. And that is how you build the sort of, I'm going to call it the cabin barn. So, yeah. Like I said, not the best explainer in the world, so I do apologize and my mic is annoying. But if you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe.